In lesson four, 34 of module 4, the students learned how to um, write inequalities and graph them on a number line from real world situations. So I'm going to go through three with you and then I'm going to give you four to read and try on your own and if you are one of my students you'll be able to answer the questions through Educanon. So number four, Rita can make eight cakes for a bakery each day. So far, she has orders for more than 32 cakes. Right now, Rita needs more than four days to make all 32 cakes. So the students really need to do three things. They need a variable, a sign, and a number in order to correctly write an inequality. So Rita needs more than four days to make the cakes. So I'm gonna use D, okay, to represent her days and she needs more than four days to make her cakes. So the days has to be greater than the number four. So when you go to put that on the number line, okay, we have to mark four as a very important number, but days cannot equal four. So to represent that on a number line, you are going to put an open circle, okay? If your days has to be greater, greater than four, your days could be five, your days could be six, okay? They could be all of these all the way to the end of your number line, okay? So I encourage the kids to just shade the number line provided and to put an arrow at the end of it to remind them that inequalities really have an infinite amount of solutions, okay? We could count all day how many days if we kept going on our number line, okay? But D is greater than four greater than has an open circle and we're going to shade to the right. And I also told my students, if the variable's first, this inequality sign is going to tell them which way to shade. We got to shade right. Okay, it's kind of like an arrow. So let's do another one together. Rita must have all the orders placed right now done in seven days or less. So it can be seven days or it can be less. Now this will change your inequality. How will this change your inequality and your graph? Well, we're still going to use D days. We need three things, variable, sign, number. It has to be done in seven days. So I know seven's my number or less. So your days has to be less than seven days, but it also can be equal to seven. And this is definitely going to change our graph. Because because it's equal to seven, we don't need an open dot anymore. We can do a closed dot. And our days has to be less than seven. So we are gonna shade all of the values on our number line that are less than seven. And we are also gonna put an arrow there to signify that it could go on and on forever. There's an infinite amount of solutions. Okay, so let's go down and one do, do one more, number six. Okay, this is an extension of the activity. Casey has been mowing lawns to save up money for a concert. He earns $15 per hour and needs at least $90 to go to the concert. Okay, he earns $15 per hour and needs at least $90 to go to the concert. How many hours should he mow? Okay, well then you have to do some math to kind of calculate this. If he makes $90 per hour, at least he needs at least $90, and he makes $15 per hour, sorry about that. That means four, that's 60. Five would be 75. Let's try six, doing some mental math here. Okay. He needs to work, if he works for six hours, he's going to make $90, but he needs at least $90. So we definitely, he could work six hours because six hours would give him exactly 90 and then he could go greater than six hours because, hey, more money the better. Okay, and that's a brief summary of what we learned today. And if you're in my class, I'm going to read these and then the Educanon questions will pop up. Chad will need at least 24 minutes to complete the 24 minute 5k race. So he needs at least 24 minutes. However, he wants to fish, finish it in under 30 minutes. Now number four, 
Ava saves $60 each week. Since she needs to save at least $2,400 to go on a trip to, to Europe, she will need to save at least for at least 40 weeks. Number five, Clara has $100. She wants to buy four pairs of the same pants. Due to tax, Clara can afford pants that are less than $25. A gym charges $30 per month plus $4 extra to swim in the pool for an hour. Because a member has just $50 to spend at the gym each month, the member can swim five hours at most. So your education questions are done and I will see you at school if I don't see you at math night. Have a great day.